It's been a minute since I've smelled anything Al Haramain, so shout out to Sniff Perfumes up in Miami, which is my home away from home, 305 to la ta, because they were dope enough to send me these two fragrances from the Al Haramain Opulent line. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you on and give you my impression of these two fragrances to see if they cops or drops. Good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Full disclosure, these cases look a little bit funny. For some reason, whenever I look at these two cases when they came in the mail, they reminded me of a 1996 Honda Civic hatchback with chrome rims and a bunch of modifications. Don't ask me why. The two fragrances are other than Opulent Saffron and Opulent Sapphire. For some reason, this cloth and chromey shit just gave me some Young Buck Fast and Furious Volume 1 type vibes. I don't know, this, it, that's just what it gave me. It's very felty with plasticky chrome. It's just a little bit too much, but whatever. So let's just pick, uh, let's start with Sapphire, shall we? So we just pop the top open on this joint right here and this shit legit looks like a shift knob. Look at this joint. I can't front, the shit feels nice. The plastic part feels like shit, but this little claws joint, pretty nice. So you pop the top open like so, bang, and then you got the sprayer, see what a little chrome action, you know what I'm saying? So let's get the sniffing, bang, bang. You got that sapphire joint, this is the sapphire. Yeah, I remember this one. All right, so I have worn these a couple of times, and this one is my wife's least favorite. As a matter of fact, to be completely transparent, she legit was like, yo, since when do you clean? She's like, yeah, you started cleaning? Did you clean the wood furniture? Cause it smells like lemon pledge. I was like, shots fired. This shit is a blast of citrus, a blast of lemony citrus, like OD. And from what I gather, it's pretty much a hybrid blend of two Aqua de Parma fragrances. Allegedly it's Blue Mediterranean and Amalfi. Now, I haven't smelled either of them shits, and to be honest with you, I'm not the biggest Aqua de Parma fan. They're just not my type of vibe. This is definitely very, very citrusy, very airy, definitely aquatic, super fresh, but it does smell a little bit like a wood cleaner. I can't lie to you. The citrusy lemon vibe definitely smells like a little pledge action. It smells like lemony pledge, lemon, lime, orange, citrusy, aquatic, airy, fresh, Italian vibes. A little bit older, but it just too wood cleaner for me. So for me, this one really wasn't a go. The performance factor was eight hours on this shit. For a freshie, shit was nuts on my skin, but the fragrance itself really wasn't vibing with me. I, I wasn't I wasn't digging it. This wouldn't be something that I would personally reach for. If you like that super fresh Italian perfumery vibe, this is definitely right up your fucking alley. Next one. Now the next one is Opulent Sapphire. So let's take this top off right here, bang, bang, and then we take off the shift knob. Oh, and the whole packaging. Get out, mother... Now this one is definitely the better one of these two. This one is a little bit of a fruity raspberry opening blast with a heavy note of leather. So for me, out of this fragrance, what I'm getting is kind of like a gin, leather, raspberry fruitiness, and the fruity opening is a little bit overwhelming for the first five minutes, and then it winds down a little bit, still keeping the sweetness, but it becomes more sweet gin leather. But for me, on the dry down on this joint, it's sweet raspberry leather, and then the vetiver kicks in, which I definitely like, and it adds a nice bit of balance to that overall sweetness that I get from the opening. This on skin smells fantastic. This one I got over nine hours. So the opening of that raspberry can be a little bit cloying on skin. On paper, it's a little bit looser. It's actually pretty nice. Not super panty dropping and wow, this is fucking phenomenal, but just nice. I don't think this is absolutely fantastical. I just think it's a nice fragrance for me. Did wifey like this one? She was like, ah, it's sweet. Kind of smells kind of girlish on you. And I'm like, you know what? you need to go take a nap. Personally, I don't think either of these are ball sprayers for me, but if I had to pick one or the other, the saffron would definitely be the better option, and I find myself wanting to wear that one more than the sapphire joint. The performance is outstanding. If you like more of the Italian perfumery freshiness, then that sapphire joint would be for you, and if you like that raspberry leather, not Tuscan leatherish, don't get it twisted. It's more raspberry leather gin vibe, then this one might be one to try. I'm gonna put the link in the descriptions below. I don't know what the fucking price point is because I barely look up any details because, you know, I'm always Prepared. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart, and I'll see y'all bitches next time. Again, shout out to Sniff Perfumes for blessing the kid, and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what it is? It's the biggest in the game. Smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, roller, roller, star tag when it's time to call back. Oh. 
for the rough rugger than raw way. This nigga gay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>